Hello everyone, in this video we are going to try to create a Detailx storage Gen1 account and then we'll try to use our storage explorer to connect to that account and it should be under your local and attached if you just uh, collapse all this under this blade uh, if you extend that uh, in the previous videos we have already connected our storage accounts in Cosmos DB and in this one we'll use that one and all you need to do right click on it and connect to data lake storage gen 1 and it will give you uh, options and steps and all you need to do is add the uri to connect to the data lake store okay so let's go over here this is my azure instance and all i needed to do is search for the data lake if you search for that it's gonna give you the data lake storage gen 1 so just click on that one and we are in this page i'm just gonna add click on add and uh, this experience is exactly the same with any other resources within Azure here uh, we have a resource group uh, lab storage let's use that one uh, East US is fine let's just use just this is the service available to me all well, this US 2 is also fine name um, DL 894 Okay, uh, data lake 934. So that's a unique uh, within the Azure, the globally unique. So let's uh, next go to the pricing. Uh, what kind of you can use PSU Go or monthly commitment for the data lake storage? I'm just gonna choose the PSU Go encryption. You can either use, first of all, you do not enable encryption, is also available, which I would not recommend use keys managed by data lake storage and this is probably the e easiest one so you don't have to worry about any keys it will be automatically encrypted you can also use your own key if you do that you can select a key vault and key and it should be very very simple so if you have a key vault okay there's a key vault you can create a new key really quick okay or you can create uh, use an existing key like I have two keys there or you can just click on create and just call data lake encrypt whatever you want you can call it and you can use RSA key or electrical curve elliptic curve key and based on what you choose you have different length so here let's use the 409 if you want you can add activation date and expiration date I don't need that so let's just create that one and use it so and for version uh, just use that one and that's the only version I have for the key and then select it so this is now we are using my our own key that we created in our Azure key vault uh, tags it's not mandatory but useful so if you want to add something like that while you're using it just go ahead and add it and then uh, review and create so that's really all you need to do uh, to create a data lake instance within Azure and again the deployment is underway so you can see this deployment progress from this blade or you can click on the notification icon this is also going to do the same thing for us and you can see it also lists everything else that we have been doing like we just created a new key within our key vault right previous to that in the previous video we deployed some Cosmos DB accounts and that are also showing over here we Previous to that, we created some storage containers. That's also in here. And you can go to more events in the activity log. If you click on it, it will give you all the details of many, many other logs that you have been doing uh, within this account. Uh, it says deployment is succeeded. So you can click over here. And what you can do now, you can click on this go to resource to go to your data lake storage generation one okay so this anytime you go to a new instance it lands you to that uh, overview pane and it's a pay as you subscription so right now there's no cost we just deployed okay uh, as your storage gen 2 is in general availability so you can uh, read more about it this is a gen 1 and a lot of things are again very similar to any other type of uh, accounts or uh, services 
like the activity log if your access control tags diagnose and, and solve problem events uh, encryption uh, if you look at other database store uh, we have the same thing so here they're saying we don't have access to your key vault that's great so uh, so here if you uh, want to man maintain you can grant uh, solution so that as you can access to the key vault and properly use like that's all you needed to do connection to the key vault was made successfully okay uh, firewall uh, you can either uh, decide whether it's going to be accessible to all networks or from a selected network and very similar experience to what you have for a storage account so that's really nice pricing tier uh, you can uh, you can look at it what you have uh, properties so uh, over here is where i think i might need some information so let's go to a storage explorer i need a adl URI let's see if it's available here or not okay I don't see the ADL URI so let's go back to overview one more time see if there is a ADL URI in here didn't see that sometimes they will have a connect option available as well okay so let's uh, let's let's go to another place to get that okay here what I did I just uh, come under the dot data lake storage explorer and um, there are two options or two blades quick start and data explorer if you click on it uh, it's gonna give you this DL 934 and over here you can do a lot of upload access for the properties all that kind of stuff um, and this is my ADL link that I have right you can copy this link from here and let's try out over here uh, we were looking at data lake storage gen so connect data lake storage gen and put our ADL URI right there and hit OK and there we go now you have access to this particular folder if you click on it you have available all of that stuff now you can upload a file if you like and let's prove that I can I can upload it is it uploading so it's skipped it says it's uploading group 0 complete 1 now it's uploaded successful it's available in there so over here if I come back and refresh this page uh, I hope that file would show up and right there is the file so this is how you can create a data lake storage account and you can use your storage explorer to even manipulate and manage this account the other thing you can also do like these days uh, you have this open explorer button if you can click on it if you have this explorer you just need to click on it and it will automatically detect that you have explorer and it will open your storage explorer for you and uh, give you that explorer and uh, this view of this account so okay that's all we wanted to cover in this one how you can use your storage explorer to connect to our data lake storage gen account and manipulate your data all right have fun if you like the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe and leave your valuable comments so i can improve the way i'm creating these videos thank you good luck